Okay, my name is Dr. Martin Bates and I'm from the University of Wales, Trinity St. David's, and I'm a geoarchaeologist. It's my job to look at the deposits like this peat that we have uh, that I'm standing on and to interpret those deposits to tell us something about the environments uh, in which the sediments were deposited and therefore the environment in which the humans were living. Here in West Wales we're at Borth and we're in the remains of a submerged forest that dates back um, around about 6,000 years ago, that back to the time of the transition between the last hunter-gatherers and the first agriculturalists in this country. And at that time, a large forest was growing through this area. You can see one of the tree stumps, probably a large oak tree, that was uh, growing in this forest. Eventually, the sea encroached, uh, the forest died and uh, salt marshes and eventually the, the modern beaches we see it develop. In this part of the world, in, in Cardigan Bay, we have a, an interesting story of an ancient legend of the legend of Cantrip Waylod, which is a folk memory of uh, a devastating loss of a landscape through flooding and it is probably remembering the flooding event that we see recorded here beneath our feet in the demise of this forest around about 4,000 years ago, so it's a melding of science and archaeology together.